Morning guys. How's everybody doing today? We're at one of our normal stops, weekly mow. A little chilly out this morning. A little brisk. Good morning, babe. Good morning. Can you back the truck up a little bit? I uh, just need a little more clearance here. Yes. Please and thanks. <laughs> well, how about I get the mower out of trail and then you could back it up? Oh, no. It's only a couple feet. Yeah, but I've done that before and it doesn't go straight back. It will be in the middle. Well, you don't even have to turn the wheel. No, 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 no. I'm going to start weed whacking. <laughs> oh, brother. Today. Yes, it is. It is cold. All right guys, so we're gonna mow this one today, and then after this is done, we're gonna go right across the street and mow that one. A lot of you guys have been wondering, how is the basket case walker mower going? It's going fantastic. I did build the uh, 26 horsepower engine off camera. Um, just haven't had much time to film, guys, to be honest with you. We've been working seven days a week, long hours. I've been uh, working on the mower when I can after work. But the conversion is done. Um, I will end up showing you guys that on a separate video. Um, but it does run good. Everything's good with that. And I'm just waiting on some parts to come in from Walker that have been on back order. I've been waiting for an electrical panel. Seems like forever. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? You know? So, just waiting on a few parts and then I can slap it back together. We can get it out in the work in the work field and start making some money with it leaves already starting to drop here in massachusetts it's almost that time guys it's almost that time to start making some money with the leaf cleanups so i'm on the walker here we're going to cut this at three inches i'm going to cut the one across the street at three inches as well
right, so I'm gonna get um, a push broom and finish cleaning up the rest of that debris. I typically am like standing at the truck and, t and show Brandon where I need him to dump it so I don't have to move it great lengths, but I was out back weed whacking when he was uh, dumping here, so I had to move it a little further than usual. But um, some of you guys are gonna ask yourself, why does she not have that thing on uh, full throttle, the leaf loader? Well, we seem to be having a little problem here today. I'm gonna, when Brandon's watching this video, um, I'm gonna tell him too, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him what's going on here because I was, I've been trying to tell him and he's like, no, no, it's fine, but he cut the hole in the back of this. because we can't drive with that going with that going through the box there um, but ever since he did that we're gonna have to put some kind of gasket or something on there because I'm getting a lot more blowout than I was before he made the hole bigger so this is what we got going on here that was before I lowered the throttle so to save myself this like huge mess later I figured I'd lower it down and when we get home today I need to have him figure out something with that but um anyways I'm gonna get out the push broom and clean up a little bit more of this so that when Brandon comes back with the walker he doesn't run over this big mess I want him to dump it as close as he possibly can to the hose here so that I don't have to move move it over off the walker we're gonna switch machines to do the backyard it's just too big for the walker
right guys so i just got finished doing one pass this way now i'm going to do the finished pass going the opposite direction kind of chop up these leaves a little better and uh give it a nice finish so renee's blowing down uh, the two properties i got a little pile of grass here we're gonna get that sucked up crazy guys how fast the fall is coming here in Massachusetts I mean the leaves are changing very quickly um, starting to fall very quickly as well check out the stripe pattern we did this time on this on this mow I want to change it up a little bit usually I'm always going the other way with them I said ah, I'll change them up this week why not And he's blowing down across the street. It's come out pretty nice. And I edged it all in with the weed whacker. Nice job. My stripes got a little messed up over there. Now that I notice it from far back, but at least the lawn's clean. <laughs> you can see how fast the leaves are changing, you know. It's gonna drive my OCD nuts having the having the lines not straight. But oh well, did my best. Man, is it getting chilly out? It's getting real cold. Let's take this hose off here. I don't leave it on. Last thing I want is that to rip the door off when I'm making a sharp turn. My hands you can barely feel them. It's like 50 degrees out here today, but for some reason, maybe I'm used to the summer now. It feels a lot cooler than that. I can see what Renee was talking about with the leaf box. Have to fix that when I get home. Right there. I thought about laying like some ferron strips um, across the top to hold it down better. Maybe that would seal it off a little better because right now all I have is like inch and a quarter screws that are holding it on. Um, uh, yeah, I uh, I need to make a gasket here for this. I had to cut this hole a little bigger because if the truck wasn't perfectly straight when you pull up to a property, it was a pain to get the, the tube on. So I had to cut that bigger. So now I need to make like a rubber gasket um, for that so you don't get any blowback. Last year we had a lot of blowback and what was happening is this engine was sucking the, uh, the leaves in and it actually insulated the valve covers 
on both sides and the engine overheated and I ended up blowing a head gasket on it and we had to get that fixed but definitely gonna need a gasket there because the last thing we want is that happening again hi hi we'll let the wind take care of the rest because I'm blowing it and it's taking off down the road yeah I got, got the bulk of it out yeah the wind's pretty it. heavy today it's putting stuff all over the place so. I know I was sucking the leaves up and it was blowing the leaves right off the trees right back onto the lawn yeah so all right. well good job I see what you were talking about with that leaf box where I gotta fix it. Oh yeah, it's making a huge mess. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I wish you just left well enough alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright guys, last stop of the day. Ready to get this one knocked out. You guys must recognize this one. We've shown this one quite a bit on camera. Let's get mowing. it up for today once came out nice can't really see the stripes from this angle because I only striped it that way but came out pretty nice a lot of leaves they just keep falling can't keep up with them it's that time they're coming Leaf season's right around the corner. Are you cleaning out your shoes? Yeah. Get grass in them. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. We're done mowing for the day. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anything to add, babe? Yes, um, our heart goes out to um, all of our family and um, anybody in our lawn care community that lives down south that was affected by the hurricane. Um, Brandon's parents live down there and they've been send us, sending us some pictures and videos and the devastation down there is just horrible. Um, it's going to be a long, long recovery for a lot of people. So our hearts go out to everybody down south. And do um, you have anything else to say, Bran? Or stay safe out there, everyone. Yes, we're thinking of everybody. So that's it for this video, guys. And we will see you. Let's see. Tomorrow we have rain coming in, so we'll probably will not be out mowing tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so we are gonna have to hit it hard Thursday and Friday because we are off this weekend. Yahoo! Um, Brandon is going to a concert with my dad on Saturday and then Sunday through Tuesday we are taking a mini family vacay. So we're looking forward to that. So have a good night guys. See you on the next one. Peace!